eyebrows and your name is Anthony Davis and you get to do a super chat, you get one of these. Thumbs up, buddy. So here's what he says. We're going to kick off the show right now. So what I loved about this episode was that it's a bomb. Line Sledge is still better than Matamodius or Galvanix. Change my mind. Change his mind, Jezzer. His costume, you can't do it. Change his, his mind, his Daniel. His costume looks... Well, uh, no, <laughs> Galvanix looks more badass. He uh, does. But uh, Sledge has a plan. But that's all, always that's always plan. Yeah, that's he always, always has, has a plan. plan. <clears throat> Welcome to that hashtag show's Ranger Wrap Up, where we give you a variety of everything in Power Rangers pop culture. We are going to be talking about a few Power Ranger <clears throat> uh, things today. We're going to be talking about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 33, Super Ninja Steel's Christmas special, The Poise Show, and a little bit of Beast Morpher news, and a lot of uh, just talking and geeking out about Power Rangers. But before we get into that, this is Jesse Reyes. Woo! Ow. Daniel Jerome. Woo! And I'm Joe. <laughs> that actually hurt me. <laughs> you were both supposed to hit him. Uh, <laughs> Why'd you stop? I, I hit him. You hit me like right no, in the spot with yeah. like your knuckle or something. Yeah, yeah. It actually hurt. The very pinky. So <laughs> we're going to be talking about Power Rangers today. We are going to be talking about life. We're going to be talking about Jezzer's love life a little bit. No, a little preview of, of your episode of Quest life. for Player 2. <laughs> just a little bit. You know, just the tip. All right. Just the tip. It doesn't just count if it's tip. just the tip. Uh, <laughs> we're going to also be talking about Into the Spider-Verse on what? next week's episode <laughs> of, <laughs> Superhero, of News Superhero News Network. Wait, I was so like, wait, good. I'm on a different show. What happened here? So let's, <clears throat> I, before we get into all that, though, we do have a few housekeeping rules. Number one, you already know what Anthony Davis with two eyebrows did. He did the Super Chat feature. That feature helps support the show. It also gets us going, talking about the things you love, and keeps us talking and engaging with you, the people, yeah. the people. Uh, can, and Anthony Davis, can you change your name to just two eyebrows? <laughs> Dual eyebrows. Dual eyebrows. Dual eyebrows. Dual eyebrows. Uh, we also have the THS Hashtaggers Facebook page, but also our own uh, Power Ranger Facebook page as well. That's THS Power Rangers. And if you want the latest and greatest Power Ranger news from around the world, what I mean by that is really we also cover Tokusatsu stuff as well. Yeah. Toku right. Kid, who's here right now yeah. live. Bringing the Toku Tokusatsu. Bringing the Tokusatsu Tokusatsu side of it. Tokatsu. Yep, Tokatsu <laughs> side. Tokatsu. <laughs> we're gonna eat that. Tonkatsu. But we're gonna. He's. They. You could check that stuff out. We do have a job opening, Lucius, but not for you. Um, oh. Just kidding. If you want to send any sample writing, all you got to do is send it. Ha! <laughs> I want, can we make that a sound bite? Huh? Like a hot like button? We have to get ha! him to do it. We have to get him to actually do we it. We have, uh, for all of you people that want to join and that aren't from California, Southern California specifically, you can join uh, our army, not just the Cookie Face army, but that hashtag show team by writing for our site, just like Toku did. He writes a bunch of uh, Power Ranger articles, Kamen, Kamen Rider, Rider, Super yeah. Sentai. Yeah. So if you guys want to join up with us, Hit us up at THS at that hashtag show.com. Send us a sample of your writing work, and we'll sign you up. One of our lead writers right now in that group is Kat. So she's uh, yeah, she's she out there the, delivering. Is she in the chat right now? Uh, I don't yeah. think so. So we got a lot going on, but uh, we also have cool T-shirts. We have cool T-shirts. Oh. And, uh, oh, my God. What? No. We have great T-shirts. <laughs> we do. You're going to tell me we don't? You, wouldn't you want to wear those to a convention? Yeah, we'll you know which one I bought? The Infinity War one. Oh, Let me show that one. one. Right, well, look at that beauty. That look at that. Looks, <laughs> that <laughs> looks amazing, and I love it because of the theme. Mm -hmm. It's you know Infinity War, mm -hmm. Power Rangers, Shattered Grid. Kind of makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I just a bit. I like it. A bit. It makes sense. <clears throat> That's the thing I like about it. You're digging the hole deeper now. <laughs> no, See, I'm this saying this is not what we were I'm supposed to no, do. I'm, saying, I'm actually doing I've this subtly. Loved. There's a line I'm, here. I'm not doing so. I'm saying that's what I've always Here's here's the thing. <laughs> is this Infinity War Shattered Grid shirt is uh, is out right now. You can get it at T Public, and that link is in the description below. Yep, yep. You wear it to your latest and greatest con. I mean, some other Rangers wearing that shit. They'd be kind of great. Uh, we we also got wrong. some other cool shirts. What Your favorite's the Fast and the Furious one, yes, which actually one. is not the highest seller, uh, but neither is the Power Rangers in Space one either. Okay, cool, the cool. highest seller is actually Once a Ranger, the Justice nice. League one. Mm. Justice League parody shirt. That's right. We've been doing a line of parody Power Rangers shirts, movie parody shirts, so this has been going on for a while now. Mm -hmm. uh, and our latest one just happens to be Infinity War. But not fear not, uh, we are going to have another one coming out. I don't want to hype it. By the way, the Infinity War one is the winter one, so for the the beginning of the year, be we're going to have a new one. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to have a, a beginning of the year January one to kick it off. Season? New um, Year, New Year themed one. 
New Year. And I would, uh, yeah. Well, so we have that one coming out the, the New Year. It's not a New Year themed shirt, but it's definitely a cool Power Rangers. Can shirt it drop right as the clock hits twelve? It won't drop. Oh, that that would be sick. I have a feeling you're gonna drop when the clock hits twelve. <laughs> with the, with that the is Rage a strong monster. possibility. You can't even take bets on that. That is going to happen. <laughs> It's that probably yeah, it's probably gonna be true. Happy <laughs> But which is your favorite shirt out of the ones that we have, Jezzer? Besides, besides Fast and the, the Furious. Fast and Furious one, I do, and I'm still trying to get my hands on because you guys both have one, the eight uh, bit uh, Legend of Zelda one. Yeah, mm. man, that one's sick. Yeah. That was a good one. That is a classic one. It seems like and if you like Daniel, you can buy the Battlestar Galactica shirt. Yeah. You can also buy L's shirt. You, could get uh, one because you can't buy my shirt because I'm taking it's taking a long time to be made. So, uh, Dustin, if you heard... You, you're a, a liar. Shirt. Why do you say that you have a shirt coming and you I don't? I do have a shirt coming yeah, out. He's you know working what? on it. I want to design a new shirt. It's a mutual, design, it's a mutual friend of ours. I want to design a ninja shirt just huh? so I can have something it come is. out. There's a shirt Because coming. I'm waiting it's for coming. you. I'll make, it, I'll make it hit when the clock hits 12. I also do know... I also do know we have a common Rider, a Henshin Hangout shirt coming. Yeah. And then there's also uh, me and Johnny are doing for the wrestling show, the wrestling show, and the Star Wars shirts coming out. Damn. So we have a lot for a lot of our other shows coming out as that well. That is awesome. All right, so let's get into this right, right away. Can I say one thing uh, right off the top? So when we had we had broke the exclusive news on. Oh yeah, I knew. What, I was going to talk about that too. Yeah, huh? when uh, okay. this episode came out, where we said Yoshi was going to come back. Did you know that were th- there are still a few doubters and like people questioning the show on its credibility on. If this was going to be real or not. Really? Yeah. I, was, I wanted to bring that up, but I actually wanted to start talking about that right yes. away as well. Um, so, yeah, there was people on Ranger Board, I believe. Was it Ranger Board? That were like, oh, can we, qu- uh, they, you know, questioning our credibility. Uh, I have two words for those people out there. Oh, oh, uh, no. is, it that? Is, is it that? Yeah, ready? One, two, three. Fuck! Okay. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, whoa, whoa. Family. Family. What I, what I meant to say is this. I think that we are... Uh, I think we've proven our credibility time and time again. I don't really give a shit what people say. I don't really care anymore. I don't really anymore. care about Ranger Board. Who still uses freaking message boards? Toku. Oh, sorry. I was Toku. like, yeah. I was like, wait, I was, I was like, what you were saying? I was like, wait, hold sorry, on. Sorry, Toku. Hold on. Nah, but I think... No, we upgraded to uh, the, the website. Look, so. and the reason why we brought you that news is because of this. If you guys would have never have known that, let's be honest. Would you have watched Most it? of these people wouldn't have watched it. So yeah. it's kind of like... Cool, you're not hyping anything. Great. Uh, I think that what we want to do, and this is a misconception. A lot of people are like, oh, you guys are... Well, why, why does it sound like Alpha? Uh, I, <laughs> I was, that was my Lucius, actually. But that was... Uh, I think ah! that he was... That a lot of people don't realize that um, <clears throat> if you shine a light on a product and you tell people things are coming, guess what? People speculating. People like it. What do you yep. think's happening with the Avengers 4 trailer, right? People Dude, are speculating everything, would, and that's yeah. what they want to do. People are giving little bits here and there. Yeah. That's how you build a universe. Right here with with, with the company holding on all to, to all the secrets and not letting them out it makes nobody care. I mean, it's just kind of what happens. Um, but let's talk about this episode in particular. Daniel, what do you think? Uh, the Holy Show. Okay, so I will say this concerning the episode. Yay, Yoshi! <laughs> Was it good? <laughs> Not really. Really, honestly, it's Super Ninja Steel. I haven't really found Super Ninja Steel to ever be actually good. Why didn't you like it, though? It was... Hold on, wait. Why didn't you like it? I'm curious. Um, well, it's... the. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you like it? Really? <laughs> no. Why, you have no reason why you didn't like no, it? No, no. Cool story, no, bro. No That's reason. great analysis. <laughs> no reason. You you just didn't like it. Yeah, I just didn't like it. It wasn't good. I mean, what, the, what, you tell me what happened as far as anything that was uh, monumental or important. Yoshi came finished, back. Yeah, but we already finished the series, so Jason we knew Font was, was going to happen. A T Rex that didn't uh, sound like an elephant. <laughs> elephant. That's true. Okay. Did you watch this episode? <laughs> yeah, I did. I really didn't pay attention. Didn't like it at all. <laughs> Mm-mm. But that's not you. Come on, you got to give a better Dude, reason. I mean, I okay, like I will it. say that they congratulations. I don't like bread, but I can tell you exactly why I don't like it. I don't like the texture. Okay, fine then. All Someone right. get this man you know a pizza. <laughs> Truth in the, oh god. <laughs> the thing is, honestly, the story wasn't the story wasn't anything that was going to be amazing, and I knew it wasn't going to be. Uh, second, uh, we already ended the series, so now we're having something that's going to be a button, pretty much like a button scene. But it's a whole episode. Mm-hmm. That was a button scene. Nothing that happened in it was going to matter. Nothing was good. You didn't in like it, the other opinion. legendary. I didn't like. Font. Yeah. 
I mean, it's great that he's on screen. I like that. But was anything else really happening in this episode? That but really what about how they used him? It, it was kind of cool how they used him. Excuse me. Okay. Um, no, I just burped. I just... <laughs> It was cool how they brought Yoshi back. It was great how they had a whole story that actually brought him back into the show. Like, that was great. I get that. And that was not just a, like, a, a, a device to help the plot go on. It wasn't a plot device. It actually made sense and it worked for him to be there. But still, that was the only thing I could say bravo about. What about yeah, them when they made him all about? into snowmen? Actually, he kind of just popped Did you out like of that? nowhere. You like that part, right? Where they put, put them all into snowmen? That's cool. Mm. When they put them all in the snowmen. I didn't like any of it, Joe. Yeah. Not enough I reason. didn't like any of it. I just told you why I didn't like any of it. And you're telling me it's not good enough reason. I'm sorry that my taste is just my taste. <laughs> I don't think you actually watched the episode. I don't think you watched the episode. Oh, I watched the episode because <laughs> there's two different storylines going on. You want to tell me what plot B was? <clears throat> I don't remember. It was a flashback episode the other half of the episode. Uh, it was a clip show. Half of it. Yeah. Yeah, but I think. Damn um, mother freaking clip show. Uh, you guys. I think a time traveling Santa Claus was a whole lot better one than this one. No, mm. my you and I have I, bad taste. I, I thought the time traveling Santa Wait. Claus was a whole lot better this. than this one. So I've been I've been on the main show when you guys are watching Ninja Steel, the first season. There is an episode where two of their parents got together. Yeah. Haley oh, yeah, and, Haley and, and Sarah. Yeah. Oh what? Yeah. That, that yeah. Thing. It actually seemed like an interesting episode. Got another super chat by Toku Kid, who's here in the audience. I love the part when Preston was taken by di by a dino. Ooh. Okay. It's true. That happened like okay. right in the beginning. Oh yes, we have a new super chat icon. That's cool. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Do we? I didn't even see it. No. Oh, no, yeah. Play it again. Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> you're, gonna, you're, you're gonna love it. Look at that. <laughs> super chat. Like I love it. So you saw the episode. What what stood out to you? Since Daniel had barely Di any analysis. Dinosaurs didn't sound like elephants. I like the part where they turned um, the Power Rangers into snowmen. I like the snowmen Zord. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny. I thought it looked funny. I was a little thrown off. Well, they corrected me. I was a little thrown off. Their Santa Claus was part of their escape plan. I yeah, mean, randomly. Out of, out of nowhere, like they're like, oh, let's just drop off through the chute. And Brody's like, yeah, I'm, this is how I escaped. Let's go back. It's a callback to that. And then right where they dropped off Santa Claus. What about the 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 uh, Super Sentai kind of like? They had to try to get something in there when they named the T Rex. What was the T Rex? It's like. Uh, crew, 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 you. I did. Or I, I didn't hit, pay attention to what crow he said. Crow you, yeah. 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 So. But one thing, with when Yoshi came in, he kind of came out of nowhere, right? Like, he just kind of. Well, like, because because Preston got teleported back to the past. Yeah, but it didn't look like the ice ages or like where it came out. It looked exactly like. Oh yeah, when did? <laughs> I, I want you to clear something up for me, Jezzer. What? When did cavemen exist? During the ice age, huh? Yeah, during the ice age. Or well, that's when. When we first oh. when we, no, when we first met when we first met Coda, it was like no, Yeah, we did. He was frozen in ice. He was frozen in ice. No, no, when that scene where he had he had saved to save his brother. Yeah. Oh, we got another super chat by Davi. Yeah, he saved your ass on that. Because <laughs> the first super time we saw him, no. Uh, supercharge, supercharge icon from uh, so much gasoline. So that's a that's a henshin that's a henshin uh, <laughs> that is reference. Is this? Oh god. What is it? Oh that's Nothing. It's it's uh, one of our so other writers. Gasoline. It's from Fantasy Football. Fantasy We're playing football. against each other this week. Oh, am I gonna win? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> no. maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe no. no. Uh, all right. So let's talk about what this. Was your, what were some of your yeah. favorite parts? Well, I think my favorite part was just seeing Yoshi back, but I also like seeing uh, the Blue Rangers back together. I think it was kind of a cool throwback. But you can totally tell this was like it was like okay, guys, we have the anniversary episode, and we're gonna shoot something with. Mm -hmm. No, with it's just Karen. like. Uh, they're talking to Peter, and the the showrunners are like, "Hey, Peter, your brother's here. Yeah, tell him to come down. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Let's make let's make a fucking story. Let's uh, we'll we're have, gonna like, shoot something. But we'll it also, it I think you can also tell that they shot this in the same location that they shot. Remember in the 25th anniversary when they kind of went into this like jungle area? Yeah, yeah. They shot it in the same location. You can no. So do you think I the other rangers were there too? Yeah, because that's how do you, why do you think Font like, did a yeah. thing? like, And he's wearing the same exact thing? I mean, that's what I was going to say. Now, if the other Rangers are there, so why do you know why maybe the other ones didn't do it? Do you think maybe like they were like... No, probably because you have to pay them for two episodes. So they're like, no, okay, I get it. Okay, that makes sense. And um, do, you think, so do you think this is the right placement of this episode? Do you think that this was supposed to be before the uh, season finale? No, I think... No. 
I, well, no, because, because they, the, it was the after. Ninja Star, the Ninja Star came, the thing right. came back. Yeah, because it came, came back. back. I do think it's one of the better Christmas episodes. And that episodes. was also... Like, it's, it, at least it has a, a... It's not just a clip show. Yeah. Um, I think that... Cool. Here, I can predict what's going to happen on on next season's Halloween episode and Christmas episode. They're yeah. going to get captured. Uh-huh. And they're going to tell stories about the past. Okay. And the show's going to end. That was last... That's Halloween. every... That's like every... Last Halloween's yeah, episode. that's true. But I do... I And I do find it funny, though, that... Um, that there's still no reference to them being somewhat related. I thought. Well, no, I they thought looked at each I other. I thought they were different. Bit. Aren't they from different dimensions? Yeah. So how are they related if they're from different dimensions? Well, they, they look well you can weird. still say that like they're they're like all right. So if Scott Summers or let's just say if you had a brother in another dimension mm-hmm. and he had a brother, wouldn't you still kind of be related to to your brother from that other dimension? No, I mean there really isn't any blood, even though he is my analog. So what you're like, saying is, in, in, str- in that theory of that, when you make a decision and the other version of you makes the, makes decision, the decision, that's not you that's anymore. Oh, well, that's still me. That's but that's me. It's not my but relation so, to but someone else. But that would else. still be a part of your blood, right? A part of your DNA, right? That's me. Yeah. And, but your brother would be too, right? If it was still Jerry well, see, in another that's dimension. Why I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. I don't know if they would still be able to match it up. Like, well, I'm asking. Thing. I don't know. Okay. Well, didn't you so. ask me a question? Would yeah. they still be related? In a so I would say yes. Okay. So I don't, I don't know. I just see. I just don't. I don't know. But they, they, they look at each other they're... for a while. Like they give a good look at each other, and they look very similar. They do look similar. They're, they're both Blue Rangers. Racist. They're both. No, Blue they're brothers. <laughs> but I mean, other than that, I mean. So I mean, and if that's the case, then why can't you find? Well, he would need to find his analog here. That wouldn't mean that wouldn't be anything. I don't know. Just dimensional kind of separation is always weird. Yeah, so I think that, uh, I thought the episode was better. This, the subplot with Yoshi and Peter was actually mm-hmm. a lot better. The, I other don't... Side, the other side was like... What did you think about the Poise show, ex- though? Like, the part of the Poise show. What did you think uh, about the, that? The show? Yeah. Really, uh, that was stupid, but I understand that they needed something. I mean, they did blow up everything, and they had nothing left, so here goes something that they still have in the show. They, I get it. I and that's what like I was it. asking I liked about it. it. Yeah, how did they? How did they even? Like, how did they gather everyone else? No, no, I gather me? everyone else like from wherever because that place is abandoned. Yeah, and then find the time to make a freaking to sign. make a sign. Well, the thing is, it's like I like that because that brings that's continuity, and that's a great thing. What? I what? Do love what? That. Uh, what are you guys even talking about? When the Pony when show Sledge... set and everything. Yeah, that remember that was blown up essentially. But, but it was what, shown blown up when we first saw it in the episode. You guys, did you watch no, that's, yeah, this episode? Yeah, Joe, yeah, you don't hear how us. Did they do it I'm so saying quickly. I love the fact that Did you not hear the, the prelude of how they explained <laughs> everything about how, how Sledge found this and he wanted to present it as a gift? When, yeah. At the beginning of the episode, they were still in that, in that, in that uh, state. At the beginning yeah. of the episode, they, they clearly talk about Sledge and, and them being hit out of orbit and them finding this. It's it's the it's called the the, the prelude for this whole the prologue for this whole episode. Did you guys not watch that part? Yeah. No, I did. I'm I'm just saying. All I was saying was I love how that brings continuity, because it was like we know that that place was destroyed and now they just happen to find it. I love that. I don't know why I'm being shamed. I was talking <laughs> to Jezzer, actually. Oh, you I wasn't said, talking to you. You said, did you so, guys? You said, did you guys? Did you guys watch the episode? Because Jezzer's like, I don't understand how they fix it. So I was actually directing no, no, that to no, no. him. Oh, okay. Not well, fix it, but like how they did it so fast. But you're only being shamed because you have no idea what the other half of the story was. But the... the just talk about the Posey show. I do. Okay, let's <laughs> let's talk about the Posies. Let, let's talk about this. So what parts did you not like or which parts did you like about this? I like the part where the Rangers are like messing with uh, Passandra, like messing with her brain, trying to... Trying to <laughs> Get her off the side. Get her off the side of uh, Sledge. You? Well, I liked it because it was actually kind of silly since we didn't really get to have like a full on Victor Monty thing. I appreciated it. It was still kind of funny. It was, it was almost cat and mouse kind of thing. You know, Tom and Jerry. But if they took that part that off, kinda... with the sh- would, this, would the episode still be decent? If yeah. They took off that whole part where they're just trapped and they don't do a whole. Oh well, they don't do much. Well, yeah, maybe because then I wouldn't have clips. Mm. I, I don't thought, like clip shows. I thought the this part of it was actually kind of funny and kind of a good way to to humanize Poissandra to a mm-hmm. bit. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was kind of funny that they have this kind of like this interesting relationship. because the 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 Poissandra and Sledge relationship uh, it's kind of like Joker and Harley Quinn. A little no, bit. it mimics actually Calvin and Haley. If you Ooh. think about it, because he's always trying to do things, but always kind of messing up, and she's always, she's always kind of blaming him for it. Mm-hmm. So it's a mirrored universe kind of a thing. I like that's that. Crazy. That's crazy. Um, okay, so what did you guys uh, rate this episode? I'm going to give it a solid 3.5. I'm going to give it a 3. I was going for a 3. Yeah. You okay. said you didn't... 
Okay. Yeah, just because I didn't mean I was gonna. I didn't like. I just didn't like it, but yeah, it's a three. Yeah. <laughs> what did I you guys think? For effort. I like the part where they go back. They go back with Coda. What? Where they go back with Coda with the with the clubs. Yeah, I hated that. <laughs> it was so like, stupid. They're bored. It's like, oh, we have nothing to and do. And the clubs <laughs> looked like they <laughs> just bought them <laughs> yeah. from a fucking Target or something. Like a costume store. Oh. I, like, honestly, when I first watched I thought he was giving them, sa- like, more sex. He was pulling what? sacks out of sacks. Oh, <laughs> oh like, he was like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> what he pull? Because what he did, I was like, what is that? And it was like, Ooh. All right, so uh, you guys are chiming in. Strider gives it a 4.5. Rose Ortiz, who's, uh, I haven't seen your name here lately, so thank you for joining us. 3.5. Anna gives it a 4. I haven't seen Anna in a while. 4.5, actually. Uh, mm-hmm. Megan Hines, 3.5. Uh, I Am Negro, 2.5. Jared Hodges, 3. Uh, Cat, 1.5. Cat didn't like it. Um, Edward Sanchez, 4.5. Wow, that's... Uh, we also got uh, Panda Blogs gives it a 4. Mm-hmm. Layla gives it a... F- Goodbye, Goodbye Neil Saban, forever out of 5. <laughs> I like Layla's reading. Wow. Toku <laughs> gives it a four. So, honestly, this gets higher marks than even some of the other episodes. So, <laughs> what do you guys have to say? Yes, I, think, I think Coda is, de- uh, is a factor. In Saving that. Grace. Yeah, he's a factor in, like, giving it a few Coda or Yoshi? Because those are two different things. Coda. Oh. Coda, the actual character. Saying. No, I think, I it's, see what Yoshi. He's think it's Yoshi over Coda? Yeah, Coda kind of is a character, like a caveman, yeah. really. You think Yoshi Sadarso wanted to... Did you, like like, did, you like, did you like how Preston tried to talk like Cody so he would understand? He's <laughs> <Yeah. it? laughs> like, why are you doing that? It's just like when people talk loud when they think <laughs> you don't speak English. Well, it's okay. It's not helping. It's, it, you're just being louder. <laughs> so we do have your rankings in. Uh, that's that was it was. I thought it was a fun episode. It was better than the past Christmas episodes. So I'm really curious to think. Um, I mean, that you guys have set the bar. I don't want to say high, but middle ground. I mm-hmm. think this this is a good middle ground episode. Uh, let's talk about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 33. Jesse, why don't you break it down for us? So like we continue <laughs> We continue the story of Beyond the Grid. So they met they met the uh, the Solar Ranger like in the last uh, in the last uh, issue. But here we get to explore how she came to be the Solar Ranger, how how like her origins and mm-hmm. how she kind of fell into it. And uh, they come from this like it's like a crazy dark world uh and she just got her. I, I want to say it's her mentor gave. Uh, it in the picture it looks like so she's falling off, mm-hmm. and then I think I think she may pull she pulls her down or something. What, okay. I don't know if she pulls him down because he ends up falling and she mm-hmm. stays on the on the bridge and then I guess he dies and he gives her something that turns her into the uh, Solar Ranger, and then that's how she's pretty much on the run. She's on the run from the main villain who I think looks to be he looks like a Time Force Ranger mm. honestly. Which Time Force Ranger do you think that is? Joe She? Joe Shee, He looks like Wes. Wes maybe. Collins? Wes Collins, yeah. A little skew, his helmet's a little skewed. He has got like a little uh, black hood. But honestly, the story's really hard to follow just because of the, the new art style. And there's so much going on that it's like, I don't know. I'm, I'm, enjoy, I'm definitely enjoying Go-Go more than I'm enjoying Beyond the Grid. What do you guys think? Did you find it, like when you say it's hard because there's so much going on, and you said the art style. Is it more of the panel layout when they do these like super sports? chat by Ryan Earl Thomas? Hey Joe, Daniel, and Jezzer. Uh, feel weird for the first time. This is the first super chat. Thank oh, you so yeah, much, that Ryan. Is Ryan. I don't think you're amazing. Weird. Thank you so much. Welcome, Drinks to Ryan you, buddy. Wow. Coffee to you, my friend. Um, yes, because sometimes with the bubbles, it was like the placement of the bubbles made it hard to follow who is actually saying. What if it's coming from somewhere else? Mm-hmm. So you're saying the layout of the the, layout, the, the, layout the, of, yeah. the letterer is what yeah. they're called, right? Oh, Nagami yeah. letterer. The letterer was not as yeah. on top. Yeah, it was, I mean, it there's was some parts where you could tell what it is, but sometimes when there's three, there's three characters in three characters in the in the shot, and then there's bubbles. And like, the bubbles. Yeah. Uh, there's a moment where they're doing it, and almost it looks like they're speaking. Oh, it looked, it looked, They're leaking, speaking telepathically. Like and it you was really, lost. Ha- you really on that top uh, top one. You have to really have to follow the. Follow the thing to see who it goes to. So yeah, I agree with you. That's a that's a oh look like another super chat from Toku Kid. Isn't it strange that Cam turned into a different race? Cam, oh, he did. He mm. he turned white. He looked like a white. Guy. He looked like yeah, a white he guy. He looked like a white guy. And uh, as you see, there's a little uh, so there's there's some uh, chemistry between two different groups of people. There's mm-hmm. definitely one with Mike and Mike and uh, Tanya. And there's a little, there's a little something, a little uh, common ground with the, the Dark Ranger and the Kimberly the Slayer, yeah. There's a little, they I have didn't... some common, common uh, things that they went through, and I think she's looking at him in a different way. Yeah. 
Okay, so what what did you think? You like you talked about the coloring. You like the colorist a lot, at least in at least in two oh, panels. Oh, there are two panels that are just like big splash pages, and they're back to back. And digitally, they look great. Okay. I would hate to see them in print because the color is so vivid. Like when you're looking at it digitally okay. versus what it's gonna look like in print, it's gonna look where it's gonna like ah. Oh, is it that? Is it that one right there? No, it's not that one. Okay. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's like uh, there was an explosion and there were like uh, two panels just like back to back, cool. and they look so great. The color, the use of red and everything like that was just. It was. It wasn't overpowering mm -hmm. digitally, but I think like if you see it on print, it's not gonna be as crisp. There we go. That's some of it. It won't be as crisp. Yeah. On print, and it's gonna just kind of bleed over. I just, I, but the thing is, it looked great, and that's one good thing. But I didn't like this issue at all. How are you liking this the Beyond the Grid story? Beyond the Grid story is really getting boring. It's become Star Trek, and I'm just like, well, Dude. this well, isn't Josh what Coleman's I'm looking for. <laughs> this isn't what I'm looking for. He's probably also, finding a shower at the YMCA <laughs> or something. Also, I really wanted to see. Um, the Solar Ranger story. I really wanted to. I was so excited. I thought it's going to be great. It wasn't. It was really lackluster. And I'm just looking at it kind yeah. of like, so that's it? That's, you, eh. You've kind of fell into it. I mean, there's a lot of story. There's a lot of stories where heroes fall into that position where they, I mean, look at, um, look at Hal Jordan from the Green Lantern. He kind of just, uh, the ring, the found ring him. kind of just found him. Yeah. But I do want, I do I'm intrigued by the new villain. I do want mm -hmm. them to keep him in in like the shadows a little bit longer because I don't want them. Because I thought I thought the Solar Ranger was going to be the villain throughout the throughout the comic. Book. Right. But now that they kind of like absorbed her, yeah, now she's no, become one of them. Yeah, it's it's a little different. I, I like I like the dynamic between her and her, her friend and how her friend's the one that really opened up the door for them to work together, making it so they. Making making her realize that they have a common goal. I remember and saying like she's gonna end up being very valuable as far as uh, a mediator between the Solar Ranger and the rest of the Rangers, mm -hmm. as well as kind of being like their Billy or Alpha. Okay. Essentially, she won't be part of the team fighting, well, we but she'll be that, making that things. But I'm <laughs> but she just seems like she'll be able to do it. She understands uh, um, the Solar Ranger's power is better than she does and things like that. So it's like okay, I see how this is working out. Yeah. And I see where she'll be placed, and I like that because it makes her needed. Mm -hmm. Versus characters are just in in frame for no reason. Yeah. So I do like that. I think that the art's great. Mm -hmm. You it's like? like no, nah, I don't like the art. I was about to say you like the art. Hey, so I don't like the art. I don't like the story. <laughs> I think it's. I don't think it's great. But Come solid three point five. I didn't say three point five. I said three. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a solid three. I was like, what are you talking about? Three. Uh, solid three. I think that with Power Rangers, it's an it's an iffy balance in scales. I look at Power Rangers as a scale, right? You got the show, and you got everything else, like the toys and the in the. Um, but the comic, comic be, right? before Beyond the Grid were great. Well, that's what I'm saying. So the show the show was like down here, and the and the scale was high mm -hmm. for for the comic. It was so great. We that can't, was the, we can't have. But a now it's it's thing. not going to be it's not going to be balanced because now everyone's really excited about this thing, but the comic quality is kind of dropping off. No offense to Marguerite Bennett, but I don't think that there's, um, I think that the story is just so different. I think the idea is cool. But see, this is the thing, too. We're also complaining. That, even yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. I know where you're going. We're also complaining that, oh, we are, we're getting tired of the oversaturation of the MMPR cast yes. and all that. Mm -hmm. But then we finally get, we finally. Something different, and it's like, of, oh, we don't like it. It's the execution of it, right? It is. Like, it, yeah. they, they, it makes me think that, does the writer, maybe the writer doesn't fully understand these characters yet? Or maybe they're trying to. Develop. Well, I, all right. So let's be honest. It, this would be a little bit better with a little with better art. Yes. Fair. Mm -hmm. This would also be better if. I mean, I think it's the tone. It's the tonal shift. It's the characters aren't so much the problem for me. Mm -hmm. It's the tonal shift because now it's become like this. This. Um, it's a totally separate story. It, like, it's become Star Trek. It's yeah. become this space like, kind of adventure. And I'm fine with that if there was if it eased into it or kind of like it transitioned into it. But no, it kind of just throws you straight into it and, and the problem is like kind of forces forces you to relate to these these six new rangers but it doesn't there's no build up and they keep throwing in more and more characters it's getting harder and harder to to uh, understand the character development for each one i will say this i am happy about a couple of things though one is that it, this is a different cast i don't the art i'm not a big fan of but i am a fan that we do have like an exclusive a comic ranger, yeah, which I think is kind of mm. cool because it's kind of uh, building the world, and I think that the world building is better. It's done better in the comics than it has been on the show. 
Um, technically, we get two, two. two exclusives. That's we what get. I was going to say. Okay. Well, I'm talking just right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess I don't consider the Ranger Slayer because that's still Kimberly. I'll have a Dark Ranger. Yeah, the Dark Ranger, Ranger, I guess, kind of. I guess that's because... Well, the Dark Ranger mainly because that's a Ranger that's... It's, in existence. Well, it's kinda. never been on the show yeah, at, in yeah. any kind of iteration, okay. per se. There you go. Um, I do think, though, that the Solar Ranger had all this hype, and I don't feel like it lived up to it. Yeah, it was. I think the reveal was too early. I, I, they could have like dragged out a little bit longer, like the her and the Rangers fighting, and explain like they're trying to explain what's going on with her powers and how it how it's different how it's different from the Power Rangers uh, with the morphing grid because they 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 they're named diff- something differently. Mm-hmm. But it's really hard. It's it's really hard to to connect to this character when you kind of just like throw them into these situations right away. Yeah, I mean, I kind of think that they're uh, them going off planet too. It's it's built. It's the bigger story, I, and I kind kind of get that. And if we want Mighty Morphin, I guess you can go to Go Go, yeah. which actually is better right now than it's actually Go Go is yeah. great. Um, but this this story alone, I think again, what takes me out of it is the art because the art is not the quality that I was used to. I'm not saying this is a bad artist. I'm just not a fan of this art style. Um, I think the artist is fine for, for a, a different book that's. It's not Power Rangers. Uh, And I agree with you with the lettering. It is jarring because it's trying to figure out who's saying what. I think... And it's a lot. They pack in a lot. I feel like the editor maybe... Well, it's because it's wordy, right? This reminds me of old school Chris Claremont when he used to write the X-Men back in like the 70s because there's so much words. But I think that the editor probably should have looked at it and been like, all right, we need to sum some of this down. Maybe maybe, it probably looked really crazy and really weird. Maybe the bubbles be the the corresponding color of the ranger. Well, I like that. That's something you that's, know, uh, but, but it would look. Or even like a look. coin or a, or a symbol, so you can kind of like a like legend that bottom, you can follow. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Is that a common thing? Is is this a common thing that Actually, a lot of comic book readers complain about? Like, if well, there's been the there's been um, they used to do that in like in Avengers sometimes, or even Justice League. Like back in the day, they used to put the there's characters some, like yeah, symbols, symbol. yeah, like in the in the word bubbles. So maybe that can be a different. I'm hoping that maybe this is. It's just kind of setting us up for something that can get bigger. Um, and maybe, I'm curious to see if her run's going to specifically stick with this team. And then when we get another creator, that they get to do whatever they want with another team. How long How long does it? Well, nobody knows. We don't know how long she's on for. Dang. You want to ask her next time we see her? Yeah, can, we, can we bring her in? Have yeah, her? we can. She's we can. offered can we, to come on the show. For next time and you, for the... I want you to interview because you don't like it. Yeah, yeah next time for the next show, can we have her here? And I'll say, oh, I don't really like your... Uh... <laughs> Wow. It's like, it's like wow. when we had Justin, we tried to get Justin to interview uh, the Cuba Ranger. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember that. that. Um, so chat. that was power. What do you guys give that one? Uh, and in the chat, what do you guys give uh, this? I don't know who, who's read that book, but in the chat, what do you guys give it and what do you guys give it? I'll give it a 2.5. Two. Two? Holiday special better, huh? Two. Um, <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm going to probably... I, actually, I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't read it, but I'm kind of lost interest in the main story. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but you, you do like Go-Go. I do like Go-Go. Yeah. I think Go-Go's more fun. I think it's easier to follow. Uh, and it sucks because I've been the one preaching probably the most about how we want different things. Definitely. We definitely want different things. And I think there at least it's in the right direction when it comes to that. But at the same time, uh, just because I want something different, it still has to be good. All right. Once again, it's execution. Let's move on to our next topic, which is going to be... This shit has to be a short story, because nobody gives a fuck no, about this. Fuck. Really? So, so pretty much they're well, keeping... They're no. keeping... Uh, even though Hasbro owns Power Rangers now, they're keeping the same composers that uh, Simone had. All right, Toku Kibbs gives, gives uh, that a 2.5. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm talking about the comic book, uh, actually. Uh, Rosie Ortiz gives it a 1.5. Thomas Franco gives it a 4. Edward Sanchez, 4 out of 5. Megan gives it a 3. So that's who I, I read do that. like seeing. I do like seeing, or I'm interested in seeing what they found interesting. Like for people that give it a high rating. Yeah, like what? Why would you give it? A, what made it great for you? Yeah, I would and love that's, to know. That's that's the interesting because it's like, am I am I not like follow, am I not reading it? Right? Do I have to read it over and over? Maybe I'm missing something. 
Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so. It was it was a solid read because, like you said, it was wordy, and I felt that it was wasted exposition because it didn't really do anything. Oh, it definitely we, wasted like, exposition. And that was the thing that was really upsetting because I was like, I expected. I just oh, want to see. I, I just want to see Magna it. Defender like kicking ass. That's all I want to see. <laughs> I'm How much of a letdown it has that it has to Super, be for you? Like, At am, all for no. you? If, if you guys are not lost, it's kind of like, like saying lost. you're gonna get a Magna Defender action figure yeah, and it doesn't do anything. It's no, just no, no, like, yeah, it doesn't move. Like it's just like like if you guys don't know, Lost Galaxy is probably one of my favorite seasons. Uh, it's very, it's a very interesting story, and Magna Defender is probably one of my favorite uh, characters. But he doesn't do shit in this comic, <laughs> like nothing. He doesn't pull out the sword. He doesn't have the nope. freaking shotgun just going he's off. Actually, you're mad chill, huh? He's really chill. No, he's. To, <laughs> he, it's because he's too busy trying to get some right now. Oh well, so he's yeah. He's not being yeah, a badass because. <laughs> hey, there is a, a a bigger bit of news that we haven't covered. What's that? That they're not releasing the last two Psycho oh, Rangers. Oh yeah. Well, because how horrible they look? Or, no, no, you no. You mean no. the pink or the... Pink and yellow. Oh, yeah. And yeah. black, See, black, right? Did they make black? Controversy The thing amounts. is, immediately, the thing, um, when I was like, oh, wow, so you're not going to release the women. Didn't we have an issue about that already? Yeah. Like, well, they... where people were, like, you know, like, raising their voices about it. Yeah. I thought that was a thing. And it was the answer was, well, no, okay, See, that, what doesn't make characters. sense, though, is, like, people are mad about this, but... 80%, can't have it both eight, eight, ways. No, 80%, 80% of you aren't going to buy them anyways. So. That's what I was going to say, because it was like, that was our argument. In the end, it was like, well, if you're mad that they're not making them or they're not selling, you guys need to but buy the, them. But the Psycho, now, Ra- no the psycho Rangers would be, like, having them all together displayed would look cool. Especially with uh, the let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Now that you know that Hasbro's taking over mm-hmm. and they're finishing out the line, would you still continue to buy the Bandai line if you know that Hasbro's going to come out with something next year? No. Especially well, then, if, the, why, why would anybody get mad about this? No, 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 but I do want, I, if, if there was a chance, I would, they would continue the Psycho, because that the Psycho team is probably like one of the coolest teams. So, but, I mean, from a collector standpoint, you want to finish a collection made by the actual people that did it. But if you know collection. that it's something new coming out, why would, why would you even care? Well, that's the thing. Well, you're a collector. That's why they care. They want that stuff. Well, if they were a collector, then obviously obviously, there's not enough of them. <laughs> no, that's to be, the thing. To, to be no, fair, saying, though, those are the only people that would care. To be fair, but though, a very small amount I, of did, I, did start th- I did start that collection with the silver and green, but then I sold it. So, I mean... Gingerbread me. Wh- what's, the, what's my investment into this team, you know, actually? Um, Add it to the last of my coffee. It, what the fuck? It's um, gingerbread. Gingerbread. Gingerbread, gingerbread creamer. Yeah, we're getting ready for the holidays, man. It's the holiday season. It's gingerbread um, creamer. Right? But I am, like like we were talking about Magna Defender being badass, I am super excited that he's one of the first ones for the Lightning Collection. Yeah. Oh. Actually, that line is pretty sick. The Lightning Collection, it's him and, and Doggy Kruger. Yeah. You know what's cool sometimes that I think, what I think Hasbro's doing, and I think that a lot of people should start following suit, is giving us variety. Mm-hmm. I think variety is such an important part of Power Rangers, you know, like having different merchandise to choose from, having different toys to choose from, mm-hmm. just having different things alone, not just Mighty Morphin. What because once you just get, I, look, I'll be honest with you, getting too much Mighty Mighty Morphin to me is it, the oversaturation of that is so annoying. Yeah. And I think that like, like for example, you can't buy anything besides Mighty Morphin shirts out there, like on the general public at like Hot Topic no, or whatever. No, it's because they're trying to they're trying well, to sell to the. To the, to the, to the yeah. I get it. I get that side of it. But look, we've we've proved that like you can do other shirts that people want that mm-hmm. are from within different the seasons, range of community. Within though. the range of community. But even the Star, I've had I, literally at the at the Spider Verse. Someone's like, dude, that's so awesome. And yep. they they don't care about Power Rangers. They just care about Star, Star Wars. Wars. Oh, so just mashing up different things, I think, is a is is a is a as long different as, idea. As long as they're big, as long as they're iconic, mm-hmm. it will work. Yeah. Well, if you're doing the placement properly, blah blah yada yada, and the coloring. I was about to say that's what she said, but. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I kind of. All right, let's talk about a couple other things. Uh, we have a little. How much time do we have? Like ten minutes. Fifteen, 15 minutes. All right. So I want to talk about something, uh, Jezer. How are things going with you? I'm just kidding. I really don't care. Uh, <laughs> he I says do, he doesn't. He's got right? a new phone. I do want to ask. I do. I, I do want to ask you guys about what you're feeling, uh, the anticipation, because February is going to be here before you know it. Are you in, Are you highly anticipating Beast Morphers, or are you kind of? How do you feel about it? I'll watch maybe five episodes if it, if I'm not interested within five episodes. That's great. That was just a warm up question. The real question I actually had what, for what, you. Okay, are you going to let me finish the sentence? Though? The real question I had for you was that. The fan base is pretty rabid, and a lot of people uh, in the past have kind of, uh, they've been very like, oh, give it a chance, give it a chance. What's your message to those people? What, when, when you take a history class, right, and they all say, you know, study, 
Study history because you don't want to repeat the past. Yeah, if you that's don't know history, you're doomed to yeah. repeat it. I feel like we're do we're still doomed to repeat it. Why? But that's just me. That's just me setting the the bar low, so that when it if it does turn out to be a Hasbro like you know a miracle or whatever, then fine, cool. Hey, so Daniel, it doesn't seem it doesn't as of now okay. seem like Hyperforce is going to come back. I mean, because I no, I mean, I feel like Damn, I feel dude. like we would have had that announcement a while ago. Wait, you're right. You're wasn't right. It, wasn't right. The, wasn't the episodes too, jarring? Um, like you, you even said that the, some of the episodes are too jarring. We did a few hyperforce yeah. reviews. Well, I wouldn't I wouldn't say too jarring. I was I was happy with some of the stuff they did. But the thing is, ultimately, it was all for naught. You saw that ending. That was BS. Like that was the problem with it, and it was really disappointing. We've we tried to go through this journey. You promised me I was gonna see Rangers die. You promised me that it was gonna oh, be you different had from what one we did. Die. Did we really have one yeah, die and came right so back? You didn't like the that ending? doesn't count. That's you lied to me, and then after you put that out, but this is the problem. Probably a three then, right? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I get his, one right. His Rubik, no. the Daniel Rubik. Too. The Daniel Rubik. <laughs> yeah, I three. hated it. It was horrible. Three. I give it a three. three. <laughs> out of five. Solid three. <laughs> Solid uh, three out of. Five. Let me ask you. No, let me ask you a real question about this though. So if we Hyperforce doesn't come back. What would you want in place of it? Like, what do you think Power Rangers can do for the community or for... What can Power Rangers do either for the community or for um, maybe fans that that want to see something besides the show or in the comic okay. to give them more of an immersive I know experience? What you're already. You already know it. You know already, it immediately. Why aren't they just gonna pay, Why aren't they just go gonna give it. us money and make it make it a thing? Yeah, That's all I'm it. saying. Just go for it. Give right. us Give us money, Hasbro, yeah, and uh, let us make a thing. That's going to be amazing. Well, we're, we're already doing well, it without your money, and it's going to be. Great. I, I, I do want to. I do actually wasn't setting that up. No, I know, actually, but no, no, dude, no. it's honest. But here's. Well, I'm going to bounce this back to you, actually. Okay. So. What What do I want to no, say? No, 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 no. My question, bouncing off of what he just said. Okay. Uh, a lot. There's been a lot of fan-inspired Power Ranger things out there, and without getting into too much detail with a lot of them that are going on. How do you do? You like those, or do you not like those, or what's your opinion oh, on those? Boy. It it's, it oh, depends boy. project by project. Some some of them, they call themselves Power Ranger fans, but I feel like they don't understand, or like they're trying to create something, but it doesn't. It's not Power Rangers. It uh -huh. like. Give me an example of that. Some of these fan films where it's just like. Just give us a premise of one. Don't I mean, because would you say that the 2017 movie was Power Rangers? It had the essence of the Power Rangers. It had essence of Power Rangers. It had the name Billy, had, Jason, had the, Zach, had, Kimberly, and, and Trini. Had, yeah, it had the name. It had the color. It had the dinosaurs. Dino, dinosaurs. 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 Paradactoid. All right. <laughs> Can I say something as a counterpoint? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, it definitely was Power Rangers. Uh, just because, yeah, we they did share the names and blah, blah, but, you know... Like I say, for a rose, a rose by any other name would still not smell as sweet. Yeah. Power it was, Rangers, it still was. Hold on, I, I don't want to. I don't want to veer away from the from the from the the fan film question. Okay, though. Cool. No, no, oh, yeah. Uh, it, it had a spirit of the Power Rangers, and they really pushed it to be exactly that. They still stuck with a way of giving us like the Morphin Grid and things of that nature, and I thought it was good. It was just a different interpretation from what we're used to, and I loved it. Mm -hmm. Now, concerning the fan films, <laughs> um. I, I like the fact that uh, the community is actually working to make something. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, there are fan films for Star Wars, there are fan films for blah, blah. And everybody knows concerning when it comes to fandoms, fandoms are fragile and fickle. That's the problem. So bringing that all around, some people may like a fan film one time, and they may hate it the next because something else already came. Well, let me ask you another question. This goes to both of you. And even in the chat, I would like to see you chime in, chime in, chime in with your super chats. But... Um, the question I kind of have is, what makes it Power Rangers if it's done by a fan? Like, what are the what in the rules of Power Rangers? What does it need to do in order for it to qualify as Power Rangers? Do you necessarily need a suit, or you know, like a, a Power Ranger suit? I mean, so? nine times out of ten, I would say if you're a multicolored team of heroes, mm -hmm. has to be a benchmark, right? Because yep. if not, then what's why is that not just the X Men or, or the, yeah. or the Fantastic? Well, I mean, right. we'll look at. Look at some of the, look at that one that uh, Adi Shankar did, right? Yeah. They had one Power Ranger suit in there. If they didn't yeah. have that, would that still be a Power Ranger fan film? Um, if they didn't ooh. have that Black Ranger suit in there? Ooh. Maybe. I thought they had more than one. They had three. Okay, okay, they had three. three. Yeah. Okay, never mind. But still, okay, no, but imagine they didn't. Yeah. If you're would it still be? That's a good question, man. Because then they're just util utilizing the the names again. That's like, true. So, like, uh, like with the Lionsgate one, really... So you're saying it is a Power Ranger film? Yeah, 
It, I, okay, Joe asked that question to you, but I'm going to answer it for mm-hmm. for the for defending of uh, the film. It had the suits, which mm-hmm. is something that we have to have the multicolor, blah blah. There has to be a um, uh, an under an undercaring message of uh, acceptance. Uh, that's something that actually is really big. I noticed in Power Rangers, and it's something that's always a through line. And the show, the movie, did have it as well. Um, no matter what you are, no matter what race, no matter what your disability, there's blah, a lot of, blah, lot of things everyone that they, counts. There's a lot of things that Lionsgate tackled with this movie that uh, Saban has yet to. Oh, I disagree. Well, then I disagree this is with for that. a wider audience. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One, and then also, on top I disagree of that, with that. I disagree with that. Uh, I, I uh-huh. think that the show tackled a lot more you think so? than this movie ever could. Yeah. You think about how progressive the show actually was with their messaging. Like, it was about, they, they, they faced the issues of bullying. They faced the issues of environmental challenges. They, in face, they faced so many different things that are prevalent now mm-hmm. that I think, yeah, I mean, the only thing that this movie did that they, that they faced is, yes, they brought in a character that was autistic. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. But, I mean, in the, other, in the other Power Rangers, they had a deaf character on there. It was a disability. Yeah. They had, they had, uh, they had so many other things on there. That, that goes overlooked. We also got a super chat by Andros, the Warrior High Alpha. Hey, he gave a he gave a, a super five dollar super chat. Does it, what he said they get something special for this? So what is it? Oh, <laughs> what is it? I'm, I'm gonna bust your chops. Stop shouting! <laughs> Can't shout down a corner video. You get the fuck out. <laughs> The cookie face. <laughs> the cookie face. I love it. The cookie face is back. I've never seen this. Huh? I love this God picture and picture. Oh, this I love good. this. The this cookie is so face. good. Uh, I love your face every time you're playing. Andrew says, will, <laughs> will the Beast Morphers Hippopotamus and Black Panther, a.k.a. Black and Green, make an appearance to the show since there are seven Rangers? Thoughts? Mm. You're the Henshin guy. What, what, yeah. do you, what, do you, what, do you, what are you hearing? What am I hearing? What am I hearing? Like my ears to the ground. Your ears to the ground. Your ears to the ground. Your ears to the street. What are you hearing on the beat? What am I hearing? Do you know those characters are? No, I have no idea. Oh, dang. I have no idea. So do you think we'll see those characters then? I think maybe. I think definitely. No, we're not going to see those No, yeah. yeah. They're in the movie. We're not going to see them. I knew knew that. The black one I know for a fact is is only in the movie. There's a possibility. No. It's Hasbro. Yeah, that's but that's, that was but that was that was that was This is a whole new so, generation. The, so the question was posed that they didn't have the rights. Why would they have the rights? Yeah, but yeah. the thing is, this is Hasbro versus. Yeah. So I mean, it's, it's different. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. Dang, Nagami, you freaking so, butthole. <laughs> so with, with with fan films, though, you didn't really. Uh, day or nay? What, I mean, you said you were. Give us the premise of one. Because behind the scenes, like Treasure's been pretty critical about yeah. some of these fans. So films. give us a premise of one. Just, just give us a premise of one, and then tell us why it was trash. There's one that Hot had, garbage. There's one that had Spawn in it that didn't really make Spawn. Any sense. Spawn. 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 What? Not Spawn Venom in it that didn't really make any sense. Really? Yeah. Wait, was it a film or was it just a bit? If it's a bit, then fine. I mean, pff, nothing big. Yeah. Well, yeah, just stuff like that. that. Well, they, that was a they, bit, where they though. Throw, where, where they, so if it's a bit, like, it, does, it doesn't count? No, because that person does stuff for that team. Oh, Matthew Thompson brings time. up a point. He says, uh, Trini was LGBT. I don't think we saw that Oh, yeah, that's movie. right. But she wasn't. Mainly because they never fully say that no, in the movie. Yeah, exactly. So it never necessarily happens. So let's be honest. We can that's read true. into anything. Uh, it, but you don't know. We can, we can, we can literally yeah. say, well, no. Kimberly in the show was, I mean, you could say anything. Like Kimberly broke up with Tommy because she was a lesbian. You can li- you can literally say that. You can make it up. You can and make up it. anything. But the thing is, it's like great. What are you doing? Like, what like the, the, what do you have? The sh- oh, yeah. What do you got? Up? Nothing. You got nothing. <laughs> Let's Here's go with the thing. One. <laughs> I think that j- just because that's implied or just because people read into that does not make it a fact. Yeah. Matter of fact, the creators never that's why. officially. If because if, if it was a straight up fact, they would have put it very. That's why. I, no, that's but, why I didn't mention it when I was saying. With it, though. Yeah, but that's why I didn't. You know what else the press ran with, which wasn't true. Here's another one that the press ran with, which wasn't true and was made up by somebody. And even Josh here was confused by it because uh-huh. he doesn't even know what I'm going to say. Okay. He said that the title for Avengers 4, that they have mentioned that in another Avengers movie. That actually was never said by anybody from Disney or the Russo brothers. That was actually made up by somebody that people ran with. So, <laughs> yes. So that just goes to show how, like, things get blown Yeah, you don't know. You don't know unless you actually find it. You know what I'm just saying? It's it, it's not real unless you actually know. Hey, from remember time. that Avengers Annihilation title? <laughs> yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, <laughs> so that's, my, that's, that's oh, what I'm saying. God, like, you never, you never know. <laughs> like, I think that people take things and blow, blow them up. But yeah. b- back, to, back to what we're not really talking about what we really want here. Um... <laughs> 
Yeah, no, no, no. Becky, Becky G didn't say that was true. Because right. I actually, no, I talked was, to Becky was, G about this. It was Ludi had said girls. Uh, be- no guys, girls. No, go- yeah, right. Yeah. But, but see, nothing, nothing was ever was ever. No, no one's ever confirmed. Exactly. So that's the thing. And if they're not confirming it, then you can't just run around with it. And that's yeah. the problem. So I think that, um, yeah, I mean, just Becky G wanted that for her character. Mm-hmm. Does not make it fast. See, and that's why when I was saying the whole thing about acceptance, I didn't mention that. Did I was you like, know? That was not confirmed. Uh, Dacre Montgomery also said that his character is related to Superman. Doesn't make it fast. Doesn't. So <laughs> that's what he told me. <laughs> what? He was like, doesn't by make the way, it fast. My character is related to Superman. So uh, you have not watched Power Rangers. Before. I, I do have it. So back to the original topic because you guys went off the rails. Yep. Uh, what? Can you give the fans that they're not that they they don't have right now? If you if you're not gonna what have hyper I've, I've I've been saying this for a while, an animated cartoon. Okay. Animated Bravo. Cartoon. Yeah. Turn Gogo. Because I mean, animated. like Transformers has a lot of animated cartoons and they, they do yeah. great. Yeah. I would say you turn Gogo into an animated. Yeah. Gogo or any other. Yeah, I know. Yeah, That's Gogo or any other story. Yeah. Uh, it just whoa, because honestly, I love Gogo so much. Yeah. <laughs> it's so I say good. turn Cosmic Protect now. Cosmic Protectors is going to be uh, dope. I actually... Dude, as a cartoon? Uh, not as a cartoon. Dude, that's gonna I'm be, saying, I'll be If people want to fund that, that'd be great. But uh, <laughs> it's a lot of work. And we're... we're, we're, we're it's a lot. It's no, a I'm lot of work. That would be dope. Like, um, give us money. But yeah, you know what? I think <laughs> we should do a, a little After Dark inside the... Inside the... Uh, inside the Hyperforce... Hyperforce. Inside, no, inside the, the Cosmic the Protectors Cosmic world. Um, because it'll be fun. We have a lot going on with that. And uh, it's going to be a lot fun. Anyway, uh, I think that's going to do it for us. All right. What do you got to talk about tonight on uh, Henshin? Episode 12 of uh, Kamen Rider Zio and uh, episode 41 of Loop Hat. Which you know, we're talking about to tomorrow, the episode 1 of Power Rangers Zio, the better I, version of Zio. Yes, yep. the, uh, the better Zio. The better Zio. The better Zio. <laughs> wow, you sound so enthused. Why don't you like it? <laughs> it's, so, it's, so out, it's so crazy and out there. Oh, I love man. time travel stories. It's just this one doesn't feel like a time travel story. When it was pitched to me, when they said, oh, this series is going to be about time travel, I got super excited. Uh-huh. And then I got hey Josh, so you're gonna give it a three. When can we release like a little tease of uh, Cosmic Protectors? Do you think roughly? Because you you would know since you've been uh, tonight. Not tonight. We can't do it tonight. We'll I mean, do it. Do, we'll do an after dark. We Where? can talk about it, but when can we release an actual like thing, like a small little thing? Maybe wait, or I can give you a panel that you cut up tomorrow. Okay. Oh. He wants a panel tomorrow, and or, or a one, small one single panel. One panel. Single panel. One panel. So it's gonna be like tonight. the Russo brothers, like picture of like Avengers: Infinity War. <laughs> what? Tonight. It's like it's it's Thanos' shit, and that's it. Uh, Cos- <laughs> we're looking at Cosmic Protectors, tonight. at least the first one to drop in February. Ooh. So uh, right around the time that you would get Beast Morphers, we're just gonna do our own. Here's the thing, though. And I have a question for you guys, the fans, and you guys can let Jezzer know because I'm about to get kicked off this show in about two minutes. Uh, let Jezzer know on his show. Did you? Would you want Cosmic Protectors set in the current Power Ranger universe that the show is doing, Ooh. or would you want it to be set in its own timeline, or would you want it to be set in the Boom Studios comic timeline? Those are three different things. So the well, current timeline of the show, which is Beast Morphers, you mean? Or well, whatever the show, okay. no, which would be like Ninja Steel and all that. Oh, okay, okay. It could that? be in the future, past. Oh, okay. But within that timeline. So television timeline, um, comic, comic book timeline. timeline, or its own. Right. These are the questions, people, and you need to be able to answer them on Henshin Hangout. Should you start? You should start off with a poll. That's how it is. Poll? Everybody, hey, get over there and tell us yesterday, that. and you almost died for over last week. You almost died. That wasn't me. I didn't. You almost died. Oh, he yeah. almost died. Yeah. I mean, I didn't get brown yeah. yet. Where is it? Oh, it's not with me. It's in my other car. Oh, okay. All right. So uh, let. You didn't die. Peak current timeline, <laughs> different universe. Uh, all right. Cool. Uh, yeah. Thanks for chiming in. Thanks for letting us uh, come into your homes or wherever you're watching us for, uh, from your boxes, YMCA like Josh does. Whatever it may be, thank you for sticking with us. Uh, next week, we're going to be talking. We have a huge announcement to make. Just kidding. We don't. We're actually just going to be talking about more Power Rangers stuff. And oh, no. We're going to be talking. Uh, I'm not here next week, uh, so I don't know what you're going to be talking about. Doesn't uh, Soul of the Dragon come out next week? Oh, we already have. Have you read it? Not yet. I'm going to read it tonight. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I, wait, I thought that's what we were talking about today, actually. Cause no. you, really? Well, you had mentioned it like, oh, it's in the drive, and I was like, oh, I think, is that what we're talking no, about today? No, I was just, ta- oh, I was just no, saying no, that Soul of the us. Dragon was there, uh, but we can't talk about it yet. Nope. We'll do a small After Dark on Cosmic Protectors. Hey, remember that time when uh, we did that After Dark, and, and we like, we... No. No, 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 hold on, finish, let me finish. The Psycho Ranger one, and we kind of like, yeah, they yeah. stole our idea from us, they incepted yeah. us. Yeah. Anyway, uh, have fun on Henshin Hangout. Jess is about to be live talking about Common Rider Zeo. There's no loop hat? There is loop hat. Who's okay. with you today? Is, is Jonathan and... It's the uh, whole team. The whole team's back Oh, together. no way! The whole team. 
Yo, got this the is... Henshin Bros back. Hey, how come you couldn't Magical. do the Henshin thing last week? You look like <laughs> you look like your motor skills failed you. Maybe. Maybe. I don't have motor skills. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Please check in to the Henshin Hangout later on tonight. We really pre appreciate every single one of you. Uh, where can everybody find each of you guys on social media? Uh, At that hashtag show.com is where you can find all of us. Uh, no, go ahead. Do you do that? Go good. ahead. Uh, um, well, uh, that hashtag BSG, that's Twitter, or you can find me at Battlestock Black uh, on Instagram and Facebook. Also, so, all, so, all social media at Jezzer Zeus. Yes, and that hashtag Joe. We'll see you next week.